This video is going to be pretty long, but it's going to have lots of parts to the same drill, and it's going to mainly focus on footwork through cones, and to use a ball at the end, that's going to help us still attack the ball in our low dive, and then we'll work our way into a medium dive. So we're not completely leaving the ground with our feet to dive for a ball, but we're still able to uh, use our ball to get us off the ground just a little bit. Uh, so with this drill, you see me using cones, you can use tennis shoes, you can use other soccer balls, you can use socks, anything that you can use to mark a spot to where you have to use your footwork. So for this first one, it's going to be two feet in, high knees, and at the beginning and end of each footwork, I am getting into my set position, like I'm getting ready for a shot, and then going through the footwork, and then set again. So what this is going to get us into a consistent mindset of, we're going to be able to get into our set position as quickly as possible, either move, whether it's a pass from the other team or a shot had been blocked or deflected and we need to move with our footwork to quickly get into a new position and then get set again for another shot. So this next footwork is facing the right side and going in two feet high knee drill. So two feet in, if I'm moving to my left side, my left foot is leading, which means my left foot is the first thing to move. Now it's my right side, so my right foot's leading me. I won't move until I pick up my right foot and then go through the cone drill. So again, get set into a set position and then explode through, exhaling through the cones as I'm going through to make sure I am getting enough oxygen into my body and breathing out to keep myself nice, cool, and composed. So this next one's called a buzz saw. Again, I'm leading with my left foot, so I won't move until my left foot uh, moves. So it's in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Again, the left foot again is leading me if I'm moving to my left side. So now it's going to, now I'm going to go moving into full motion. Left foot first, then right foot follows. And then again, set position, uh, ready for a shot at the end. So set, left foot, and you can always move at your uh, comfortable speed, whether it's slow motion, half speed, 75%, or if you think you can make it through full speed, great. But keep practicing, and you will eventually start building up uh, your ability to go through the drill as quickly as possible. Hopefully one day it will be as, um, you know, quicker than me, um, because I haven't done these drills on my, on my own in a long time. But um, it's all about muscle memory and then getting comfortable with that same drill. So this drill is called the figure eight, or in, over, and back. So if you want to think about it like you're drawing an S with your feet, um, but instead of a bus saw where you're just going halfway in, halfway out, now you're going completely up and around the cone and then going underneath the cone. So again, my left foot is leading me. Now I'm on my right side. My right foot's going to lead me. I'm going to go over, under, over, under, and then get into a set position once I'm done with the cones. Again, you can go slow motion uh, and then build up your speed as you get more comfortable with the drill. So this next drill is going to be the two-footed hop. It's, all, it's going to mainly focus on your balance and building up those muscles in your legs. And what you're really trying to do is get into a little bit lower of a squat position than your set position. Um, that's really going to engage your quads, your hamstrings, and your calves and really start exploding uh, or using those muscles that you use to explode into a high jump. So once you jump and land, have a small pause to where you can keep your balance and then work your way into the drill, which will involve the ball. Now, I didn't put in the video that the ball is about three steps away from where you set for your uh, after the cone drill, but you take three steps diagonally from where you will stop from the cones, put the ball down, go through the cone work, set and then step into a low ball dive and of course alternate each side that way you get comfortable doing the footwork and then diving on each side this last video is the medium dive which is again you're not leaving your feet off the ground you're keeping your feet on the ground because you don't need to completely explode off but you toss the ball get used to the distance of how far you want the ball to be and then you can work your way into a higher uh throw or a longer throw to where it's a little bit further away from you. Um, but again, the main focus of these drills are the footwork, uh, getting used to it, 
being able to go quicker as you go on with it, and then being comfortable to continue doing this uh, because it will help you with you with your ability to move, your agility, and um, being able to move quickly in, in the goal. If you have any questions, let me know.